Alright ladies and orcs, let's talk about creating our own guild going into Shadowlands. Welcome to the Clicker Gaming Channel, and as I said earlier, let's talk about creating a guild going into Shadowlands. One of the first things you want to look into is what kind of guild do you want? Are you into raiding? Maybe you want to be a casual guild. In other words, kind of like a leveling guild. You really don't have an area that you're really wanting to hit. Or do you really like playing the PvP aspect of the video game? But one of the biggest things that most people see as in-game will be raiding. Now this is another option. Now keep in mind, even though I'm saying raiding, casual, and PvP, doesn't mean that you have to only do one. For instance, most raiding guilds have a core raid group and then they also recruit casuals. A lot of the times the casuals will fill in for core members that didn't show up that week. But it also allows for a more casual raid group to be a group two to go at their own pace. So whenever you're creating your recruiting message, these are the things you want to look at and make sure you pinpoint exactly what you're looking to do and where you want to take the guild. Now of course, you only have 255 spaces, one letter, one space, per space, to get this message through. So you need to simplify it as best you can while also getting your idea through to your possible recruit. Now, talking about recruiting, let's talk about some quick taboos and some that kind of get looked over, such as recruiting in trade chat. Now this is normally something some servers thrive at and some servers kind of look at it somewhat with a frown but you have to understand that most new members most people that you're looking to recruit they have no idea about the guild recruitment channel this is a channel that you have to join so it's not just available to you so recruiting in trade chat is one of going may end up being one of your top grossing uh, recruitment methods Another method is to whisk people that are ungilded and ask them if they would be looking for a guild. You have to go about your own way on this aspect. As some people see this as also being somewhat rude, but I have also gotten very high marks for people saying thank you for asking and not just sending an invite. So please don't just blindly send an invite to people. Be courteous and ask or wait for people to respond to your guild recruitment message. So besides these recruiting options, there's also a passive way to do guild recruitment. Once your guild is created, come down to your guild and community or press J. Make sure that you're under your guild and right here under recruitment, you'll see that you can find list my guild and guild finder. You can say what kind of focus you have. There's dungeons, raids, PVP, role playing. We pretty much went over this earlier. Most people look at them as raids, PVP, and casual. But if you want to be more precise, what you're looking for, of course, which language. Here, you would basically copy and paste your recruitment message. Just minus out the guild name as it'll be listed in the recruitment. Your guild finder post will expire in 30 days. So every 30 days, you'll need to re-up it. In that time, you can update it on what you need or if your guild has shifted into another direction. The charter section of creating a guild is pretty simple. Go to your guild master, how do I form a guild, and purchase a guild charter. Place in your desired name, purchase for 10 silver, and you now have a charter should be in your first available bag space. You'll right click. If you notice, you only need four signatures in retail to start your guild. As long as they're in range of you, you can hit request signature and they can sign. Now, where do you obtain a guild charter? Here's four easy locations to get to. There are more. Any of your main cities, they're going to have a guild master. But these are here the most populated and more likely that you'll be at. On the Horde side, in Dazar Lore, from the Innkeeper, go to the right.
through the door and to the left of this balcony. And here's your guild master so that you can get your charter. In Orgrimmer, your guild master is straight in from entering Orgrimmer. Directly to the left, and there's your guild master. In Boralus, your guild master is outside of the inn. Take a right. And you go just to the end. Another right. Your first door. And there is your guild vendor and your guild master. In Stormwind, as you enter the city, look to your left. Find the Golden King. And right there will be your guild master. In Classic Orgrimmer, as you enter Orgrimmer, take a hard left up the ramp. And you are heading to the Horde Embassy. Now in Classic, it requires you to get nine other signatures to start your guild. And here is your Guildmaster, as well as the Tabard Vendor. In Classic, Stormwind, as you enter, take a left. It's in the exact same spot as Retail, but there's no Lion. As soon as you enter, your Guildmaster will be to the right. Hopefully this video helped you in your guild making needs. Moving into Shadowlands is going to be the perfect time to start recruiting, especially if you're looking to raid or even just leveling into that end content. If this video was any help to you, please leave a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and please leave a comment on any other kind of content that you'd like for me to do. Take it easy.